Good morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself. On a moment-to-moment basis, and while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health and nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side, 844-236-6010. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about formulations, ingredients, skin health products, the longevity products, or if you have a success story you'd like to share with us, or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program or recommended on the program, please head over to my website, criticalhealthnews.com or brightsideben.com or pharmacistben.com. You can order products right off the website. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team for one time $25 fee. You could start yourself a business. You can help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. Or you can just get your products at the wholesale price if that's all you like. 866-735-2470 is the phone number for the Brightside Ben phone team. They can tell you all about it, 866-735-2470. Or you can head over to uh, our websites and sign up right off the website, criticalhealthnews.com, pharmacistben.com, or brightsideben.com. And if you're interested in checking out our Truth Skin Health products, including our Truth Retinol 5% Gel, if you're dealing with blemishes or dark spots or you just want to prevent the signs of aging, it's always better to prevent it, although retinol has actually been shown to reverse the signs of aging, including fine lines and wrinkles. Retinol is important for making the skin robust and strong. It helps stabilize the growth of cells. Yesterday we talked about how cells have to, uh, cells don't, you don't want cells growing too fast. You don't want them growing too slow. You don't want action in the body too much, and you don't want it too little. You want it Goldilocks like right in the middle. And this involves something called normalization. Normalization is when the fast stuff gets slowed down, the stuff that's going too slow gets sped up, and somehow or another, vitamins and other nutrients know how to normalize. Drugs don't. Vitamin A is the quintessential normalizing vitamin, especially for the skin, and this is why retinol and retinoic acid and vitamin A, well, one of the many reasons, but one of the most important reasons, I should say, why retinol is the most important over-the-counter topical ingredient you could ever use. It is a bit aggressive. And we've mitigated that. We've softened up the aggression. You still get the benefits. But if you use our retinol 5% gel and you haven't been able to use retinol in the past, you are going to be pleasantly surprised. Any case, you can find out all about it at truthtreatments.com. That's our retinol, Truth Retinol 5% gel, along with our Truth Serum, Truth Balm, and Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream. All right, welcome back to The Bright Side, friends. We're talking the ketogenic diet and supplements that you want to use with the ketogenic diet. One of the most important is vitamin E. As we said yesterday, vitamin E, like vitamin A, is a normalizing vitamin. It helps stabilize things. It's a counterbalance to one of the most, probably the most misunderstood hormones in the body, probably the most misunderstood chemical in the body next to cholesterol. I'd say cholesterol is the most misunderstood chemical in the body, most underappreciated, poorly recognized as far as its health benefits go, poorly recognized molecule in the body is cholesterol. But a close second is cholesterol's derivative, which is actually a version of cholesterol, called estrogen. Isn't that interesting? Estrogen, testosterone, progesterone, DHEA. We're going to talk later on about another hormone called pregnenolone. All of these hormones that are so important for helping the body cope with stress, and that includes cortisol and vitamin D, by the way, all of these hormone-like substances that help the body cope with stress, 
help us grow when we need to grow, help us heal when we need to heal, help calm us down when we need to be calmed down, help us be fertile when we need to be fertile. All of these wonderful hormones, they're called the steroid hormones, are really versions of cholesterol. Yes, they're just tweaked versions of cholesterol. That's how chemistry is. You tweak something, you, you add a bond, or you add another molecule, or you change the a, a structure in some way, just a slight tweak, and all of a sudden you have a different function. It's called structure function in the world of chemistry. You change the structure just tight, slightly, and you get a completely different function. Well, it turns out that all these wonderful steroid horm hormones are basically versions of cholesterol. You tell that to the next boneheaded doctor who wants you to take a statin drug to suppress your cholesterol. You will also be suppressing all the versions of cholesterol, including cortisol and testosterone and estrogen and progesterone and DHEA. Tell that to your next, the next doctor who wants you to take a statin drug. He probably doesn't know this. Anyway. So vitamin E stabilizes things, and it particularly one of the major things it stabilizes is estrogen. If you're dealing with an estrogenic health issue, really everybody should be using vitamin E, but especially if you're dealing with an estrogenic health issue, an autoimmune disease, breast cancer, even Alzheimer's disease and prostate issues. Prostate disease is thought to have an estrogenic component. Despite what we hear from the mainstream press and from our doctors and from the mainstream medical model, estrogen is not a kind and gentle youth-promoting anti-aging hormone, but actually a pro-inflammatory stress hormone whose net effect is to jack things up, to increase inflammation, to make things grow, to cause the secretion of fluids and fibers. This is where estrogen gets its supposed reputation for being helpful for skin, by the way, because it increases fiber production. But that's not necessarily a good thing. You don't want to jack things up in the body. Estrogen jacks things up. It amps things up. Now, to be fair, estrogen does, uh, women do make more estrogen when they're younger. Men, too. We, we do make more estrogen when we're younger because one of estrogen's main roles is, for a woman anyway, is to, is to make her fertile. Estrogen is associated with blonde hair and fair skin. Women's skin will typically, typically get darker as they get older. Sometimes little girls will have blonde hair, and as they get older, they get, uh, their hair will get darker. All of this is the manifestation of a drop in estrogen. After a woman gives birth, her estrogen drops. And as we get older, our estrogen drops. This is why, probably why men are so fascinated with blonde hair, why women will go to great lengths to, to please their men who are so fascinated by blonde hair. Blonde hair indicates estrogen, which indicates fertility, which is associated with youth. And that's where, really where estrogen gets its youth-promoting reputation. But there's a problem. See, there's really no such thing as estrogen. That's the problem. There are many, many, many estrogens. Estrogen is like a family. It's not like a child. It's a family, and it's a big family. There's hundreds of that, maybe even thousands of estrogens. There's estrogens that are made by plants. Those are called phytoestrogens, and there's lots of those. Soy, this, is, this is the problem with soy. You, you guys probably heard of this, how soy can be feminizing. It's not necessarily true, but the reason it gets its reputation as being feminizing is because it contains phytoestrogens, beans, legumes, various herbs, black cohosh, uh, dong quai, vitex. These are all herbs that contain uh, uh, plant estrogens. There's actually a product called Estrovin. You may have heard of this. It's over-the-counter product, and it's marketed for women's hot flashes. It contains phytoestrogens, particularly one from black cohosh, or maybe it's blue cohosh. It's one of the cohoshes. Then there's the xenoestrogens. These have been in the news the last few years. BPA, for example, they're in plastics. They're made industrially. These xenoestrogens leach out of plastics, and they can cause problems. Glyphosate, the pesticide, a lot of pesticides actually are like estrogens. So you got industrial estrogens, you got phytoestrogens, and then you have your biological estrogens. Those are made by us, made by animals in general. So all told, there's thousands of these things, thousands of these estrogenic compounds, and in the body, you've got a couple of dozen. And many, in fact, most of these estrogens are formed temporarily. This is really where the problem with estrogen comes from. It's in these temporary byproducts, these breakdown products of estrogen. This is where the digestive system becomes so darn important. We'll talk about it when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side, 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you, and we'll take a break and come back right after this. Don't go away. We are back on the bright side. Thanks for being here, friends. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time. 
24-7 on archive pages at brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting that up. We got years and years of archives, four plus, four plus years, four and a half years or so of archives, lots of great health information. You can review the archives. It's all free and it's all really good stuff, unique stuff because it's basically coming out of my head in combination with research, of course, and in combination with my experience, which you're hearing here on this program, you're not going to hear on a lot of on a lot of shows because this is my experience you're listening to. This is my experience through my research and my own personal hands-on, hands-on work with patients as a pharmacist, as a compounding pharmacist, and as a, a formulator, as a formulator of skincare products. And speaking of skincare products, if you're interested in checking out some of my formulations, check out truthtreatments.com. These four products represent the culmination of everything I've learned in 32 years, and it's been a lot. Because not only have I been formulating products for a living, I've been formulating products because I love it. And I've been working with the skin because I love it. It's my passion. And what you're going to get when you use your truth treatment products, and you can ask anybody who's used the truth treatment products or check out our testimonials, what you're going to get is the culmination of 32 years of my hands-on experience as a pharmacist, as a formulator, and as a research, as a researcher. And that's why I call the product the truth, because it is the truth. The truth is you don't need a lot of skincare products. You know the truth is you don't need an eye cream? You know the truth is you don't need a special wrinkle cream? Do you know the truth is that if a product heals your skin, it's also going to be the best anti-aging and moisturizing product you could ever use? If you can't put your fancy schmancy moisturizing cream on a cut or scrape and have it accelerate the healing of it, what's that telling you? If you use our truth treatment products, on the other hand, and you cut yourself shaving, or you get a little abrasion, all the uh, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, Truth Balm, and Truth Serum will both accelerate the, heal, uh, the healing. Same with the retinol, too, although I wouldn't, I wouldn't use the retinol right on an abrasion. In any case, it's about healing the skin. It's about making things happen in the skin. And for that to occur, a formulation has to be active. And the formulator has to know what he's doing. Check out, check out uh, all the products at truthtreatments.com. And also check out our blog at truthtreatments.com. Okay, so estrogen. Very, very fascinating stuff. Very misunderstood. If you really want a hormone that to, uh, that's going to help soothe hot flashes, a beneficial non-toxic hormone, use progesterone. We'll be talking about that here in a little bit, or pregnenolone for that matter. We'll be talking about that one too here uh, later on. So estrogen is found in nature as phytoestrogens. It's found industrially, a phyto meaning plant. It's found in legumes and beans. Uh, it's found industrially as a byproduct of pl uh, plastics and polymer manufacturing. And of course, it's found in the biological system of animals, particularly mammals, us, humans. So here's the problem with estrogen. Estrogen is mega potent. When I was compounding estrogen products in the compounding pharmacy, I had to be so careful. I had to have this special pharmaceutical scale that measured in the micrograms. Because if you were off by just one microgram, a thousandth of a gram, a millionth of a gram, what am I talking about? If you're off by a millionth of a gram, right, you would throw somebody's biochemistry completely off. Point, the difference between 0.1 milligram and uh, microgram and 0.2 micrograms is serious. It's significant. So, because estrogen is so, 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 so powerful. So the body, when, you, when estrogen goes up, the body immediately attempts to break it down and clear it. And this is where the problem comes from. The breakdown products of estrogen are especially toxic. Estrogen itself is potent, but the, the breakdown products are especially toxic. Usually that's not a problem because they're only around for a, a millisecond. They're only around for a, a, tie, a small a brief, nanosecond, a brief amount of time. Then they're cleared if we're healthy. But they're cleared through the gallbladder and the bile and the liver and the intestine and uh, uh, the uh, uh, bowel movements. That's how they're eliminated out of the body. That whole system, that lower part of the body is where estrogen's eliminated. And how many of us have problems there? If you have a gallbladder missing, you're at higher risk for problems with estrogen. If you are not producing enough bile, you're at higher risks for problem with estrogen. If you have ulcerative colitis or irritable bowel syndrome or any intestinal issue, you're at higher risks for problems with estrogen because these toxic metabolites aren't going to get cleared out. These toxic breakdown products aren't going to get cleared out as effectively. If you have a problem with your gut bacteria, again, you're going to have an estrogen problem. If you have any estrogenic issues, in fact, that's the first thing you want to do is start to work with your gut bacteria because of the very important relationship between gut bacteria and all the digestive, uh, the rest of the digestive system and 
the relationship between gut bacteria, probiotics, the microbiome, whatever you want to call it, and detoxification and elimination of estrogen. If you're constipated, you're going to have a problem because estrogen is going to build up in the body. So this is really where estrogen gets its bad reputation. It's from these toxic, toxic byproducts that aren't getting cleared out. If you have any estrogenic health issues, fibromyalgia, by the way, is a classic, classic estrogenic issue. I just talked to a young gal yesterday, 31 years old, and she wasn't hearing it. She wasn't going to have any of it. Oh, I went to my doctor. My doctor did a trigger point, blah, 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 blah. Listen, if you got fibromyalgia, you got an estrogen issue, period. And if you don't believe me, just start working on your estrogen and watch what happens. Something as simple as getting on probiotics. Something as simple as fasting. Something as simple as fiber. Oh, yeah, fiber. Amazingly important for helping the body process estrogen. If I was a woman with an estrogenic health issue, I'd be doing fiber every day. I do fiber every day anyway. But especially if you have any kind of estrogenic health issue, fibromyalgia, autoimmune disease, Alzheimer's disease, which is partially an estrogenic issue, as I said. Infertility issues, problems with your period, endometriosis, another. Uh, if I had a dollar for every time I heard some, somebody tell me their doctor wanted to take out their female reproductive system because they had endometriosis, I would be a very wealthy man. This is how they do it. They take out your, your, your womb. Nobody thinks about estrogen. If you have endometriosis, work on your estrogen. If you have fibromyalgia, work on your estrogen. That, and when I say work on your estrogen, I mean work on how you clear it. More fiber, probiotics, make sure you're having regular bowel movements, vegetable juices, which contain fiber, fermented vegetable juices, digestive enzymes, including pancreatic enzymes, bile salts, lecithin. These are all incredibly important strategies for helping clear out toxic estrogen, estrogen byproducts that don't involve straight out nutrition. If you want straight out nutrition, zinc, vitamin A, vitamin E. Vitamin E is the quintessential estrogen blocking substance or estrogen, I shouldn't say blocking, but estrogen balancing substance, est estrogen normalizing substances. So as, if you have any kind of estrogenic health issues, fibromyalgia, endometriosis, breast cancer, any kind of estrogenic cancers, prostate issues in men, please focus on estrogen and balancing out estrogen. There's a zillion strategies. In fact, everything we're talking about here when it regards the ketogenic diet is going to help you with your estrogen, including and especially vitamin E. This is one of the most important and underappreciated roles for this fabulous, stupendous vitamin that nobody gets enough of unless they're supplementing. And, either, and by the way, for you guys using the, the, the Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients, and you're depending on the Mighty 90, Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients, you need more vitamin E. Go get some vitamin E. Now, there's different types of vitamin E, of course. Alpha tocopherol is the most famous one. 400 international units a day if you're looking for a dose. At least 200, but 400 is a great place to be. You could take 800. Uh, there's different forms of, of vitamin E, and I want to tell you about that when we come back from our break. We'll also take your phone calls. 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number, and we'll get your calls here momentarily. Do have a couple lines open for you? 844-236-6010 is our number. If you've got questions about health or nutrition or skin health or ingredients or formulations or the longevity products, or if you have a success story you'd like to share, if you want to contribute to our conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear recommended or advertised, please head over to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com, and you can order products right off the website. Okay, a couple more things I want to say here about vitamin E. We're going to, next uh, program, we're going to start talking about pregnenolone. Love, love, love this stuff. Uh, uh, works hand in hand with vitamin E. Vitamin E is very important if you're going to be ingesting more fats in terms of the ketogenic diet. There are different types of vitamin E. You have eight different types. The most common is called alpha tocopherol. That's the one that's found in the most abundance in the body and in formulations. But in nature, vitamin E occurs as, as eight different types in eight different forms. And that's why the best way to supplement is to make sure you're getting all eight different forms. That's tough because there's not one product that I know of that has all eight different forms. At best, you'll get uh, mixtures, a mixture of four, 
Well, I mean, you know, you may be able to find mixed tocopherols and mixed tocotrienols. I take that back. They're not readily available, put it that way. But uh, you can get something called mixed tocopherols, which is all four of the tocopherols, which by the way means to bear children because tocopherol is a fertility vitamin. It blocks or it, it's, it, it normalizes estrogen, which is anti-fertility. Estrogen is for growing a baby, not for conce- conception. Vitamin E helps with conception. That, thus the name tocopherol. The next type of vitamin E is called tocotrienols. And this is new stuff. Not a couple years old. Well, last 20 years, we really started to understand how powerful tocotrienols are. And they are powerful. So if you want to start taking the, the super extra deluxe powerful form of vitamin E, in addition to the tocopherols, you want tocotrienols. And again, look for mixed tocotrienols. And that way you'll get four different tocotrienols. Mixed tocopherols, you get four different tocopherols. And then you have your eight different forms of vitamin E. All right. So much more to say here. Let's see. Uh, you know what? I'm going to take. I'm going to start. Uh, I'm going to take some phone calls, and we'll continue talking about this on our next Bright Side episode. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to the Bright Side. Eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. Less in Nevada. Good morning. What's going on, buddy? Uh, yes. All right. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, yes. First of all, I want to share a, a positive story with you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you, uh, you've been working with me on my prostate issue, and uh, I've ordered all the supplements that you recommended, and I brought my blood pressure down from 200 in nine days to to the normal to the normal range. Now, how do you like that, Les? Praise God! How do you like that? No drugs, no doctors. You just added years to your life. You didn't have to deal with fatigue and lethargy and depression and erectile dysfunction and all the other stuff that comes along with your beta blockers and calcium channel blockers. Praise God. Thank you for sharing that, Les. I want everybody to understand this is what is possible. You know, if you, Les, you have no idea how many people you just helped by sharing that story. Thank you so much. It, it's, it's true. It happened in less than nine days. Uh, the second thing is my uh, digestive tract is... Uh, beginning to work normal again. So how words, do you I, like that? I can how? really tell the digestive tract has improved. That's awesome. How old are you, Les? I'm 68. Good deal. You just added a decade to your life, probably. Hopefully. You added years to your life, whatever. Keep it up. Oh, I, I, that's okay. awesome news. Awesome news. My well, third success is I brought my creative team levels down from 8 to Whoa. six. Are I you did this in nine days? That's unbelievable. You were at eighteen. Were they all freaking out? Were they telling you about? Oh yeah, kidding? they were telling me I was going to die. <laughs> oh my god, that and, is crazy. Uh, For the listeners, creatinine is a measurement of kidney function, and eighteen is a that, that's saying you got some damage there. But you're on the right track, Les. If you imagine, you've only been doing this for nine days. Imagine after six months or nine months or a year. Imagine what's going to happen. Thank you so much for sharing that, buddy. Do you okay, have any questions? One more, one, one more, one more important issue. Yes. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, okay, I've been working on this nine days, and you indicated to me that the swollen prostate would would tar- start changing within maybe two weeks. I've been on a nine days. Okay, my prostate is still locked up. I am not passing urine. Okay. Are you, um, did I did I tell you about the beta cytosterol? Yes, I uh, and I've, I'm I'm on the uh, I'm on the uh, uh, the KB and the other supplement that uh, Longevity has. How about zinc? Did, are you doing fifty milligrams of zinc? Yes, I went down. Yeah, you gave me about five different uh, things to take. I ordered them. I got them in three days, and I've been religiously taking them. Keep going. You're, you're heading in the right direction. You know, give it some more time. You're heading in the right direction, my friend. With all these markers words, dropping like this significantly, you're, you're, you're cruising. So keep going. Words, what I'd like to do is be able to call you back in 10 days and I'd say love it. That, this, that this prostate is, is I'd love it. to shrink. So I just would lo- stay with the program. Stay with the program. Absolutely. 
Am I doing as well as expected? Oh, my God. You're doing amazing, Les. You, you, you have no idea. First of all, you warmed my heart, and I'm sure you've helped a lot of listeners. That's a, that's a beautiful story, Les. Thank you so much for sharing that. Listen, there's, uh, you guys still got to work with the diet and stuff. If you could, take, if you could do a couple-day fast, that would make a big difference if you want to. Well, I've been you, fasting. I'm, oh, I'm good. good at that. Good. I'm fasting good. right now. Good deal. Good deal. Keep I, going, I, Les. You're, I, you're well, heading I lost the... a lot of weight. I think I lost 15 pounds. Dude, you have no idea how much what you did. You just saved yourself a, a whole lot of health grief in the future, just in these nine days. But stay in touch. I'd love to. I'd love to work with you personally, Les. So stay in okay. touch, okay? Uh, thank you so okay, much, thank Les. You. Thanks for sharing that, buddy. Okay, that's awesome. I love those stories. Love them. I hear them all the time. You know, I've been hearing them for decades, but I can't tell you how gratifying that is when somebody just ca- gets it and then starts to achieve these results. And if you're out there listening and you're dealing with a health challenge, I am telling you. This is what is possible, not because of me, but because of you, because of the, how the body is built, how the body is structured. It's a regenerating system, and degenerative disease is an aberration. It should not be occurring. And as soon as you do a few things, this is the kind of results you get. And quickly, nine days, quickly, you get these kinds of results. All right, Aaron in Canada, good morning. Welcome to the Bright Side. What's up? Hey, Hi, we're in Canada. Dad. Where are you in Canada, by the way? Uh, Edmonton. Okay. Is it snowy out um, there? I- I'm sorry. Is it snowing out there? No. I gotta go to. I'm gonna be in Toronto tonight. Oh, that's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. Um, I I want to first of all tell you how grateful and how much I appreciate all your hard work that you're doing for everyone Thank on you. this planet. Um, Thank you. I'm calling on behalf of my wife. Um, she's got some serious health issues. I don't know how much can be done to help. Um, She's got what's called osteogenesis imperfecta. Okay, uh, gotcha. It's known as brittle bone disease. Right. How old is um, she? She, uh, she is uh, 40, 46 years old. Okay. Any, anything else going on with her? She must have other uh, stuff, too. Nobody yeah, just has... I can, a... I can do that after the commercial. Okay, good. Thank you, Aaron. I appreciate that. Well, we'll take a break and come back with Aaron in Canada. And if you're on hold, we'll come back to you as well. 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this with more good health information. Don't go away. All right, we are back on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're talking to Aaron in Canada. Are you there, Aaron? Uh, Absolutely. Okay, so I'm going to go really fast here. uh, Osteogenesis imperfecta. Right, or it's called OI for short. Right. It's basically just, forget the diagnosis. It doesn't matter. This is the way doctors okay. impress themselves and impress okay. us with Latin. Okay. All it means okay. is, it, you, you, you know how they say there's 12, well, I don't know if you know this, but you know, I've said this before, there's 12,800 or so different degenerative right, diseases. Right, you have. Right? Well, there's only one. That's, that's a lie to create specialists and to take our money and so we can all get categorized. The only disease, Absolutely. degenerative disease, is called MBFA disease. I made it up. Okay. All right? And it's English. It's not Latin. It says, it's, uh, it stands for my body is falling apart disease. Okay? <laughs> That's the only disease yeah. there is. My body is falling apart disease, okay? Right. And guess right. what? Your wife has it. That's all. Well, she, she was born with it. That's the problem. Okay. Um, okay. Let, it can be. There's, just... a, there's a genetic connection to it, absolutely. But right. it doesn't matter because we right. can't put her back in the womb and start from scratch. So we got to start no, where we start. I, Go ahead. I Go ahead. I could. Uh, uh, <clears throat> okay. So I, d- just to let you know, I did email you last night, but I was okay. so concerned about her condition that I have to call. Okay, because good. I, I'm going to help her right away. I'm going to help okay. her right away. And did you put your phone number in the email? Uh, yes, I did. Okay, so here's I what we really got. Appreciate I'm that. going to call you. I'm going to call you. Okay, okay give me a few okay. days, but I'm going to call you. But here's I, the absolutely. thing. Absolutely. I want to get you going right away, okay? We yeah. got to turn her into Arnold Schwarzenegger. We got to turn her into a bodybuilder. You follow me? We got to yeah, get her. Absolutely. We got to build her up. And this is what, there's a whole bunch of stuff you're going to do, but we want to start right away. Work on the digestive system first and foremost. If you, once right. you start doing, until you do that, any, and by the way, that's part of the problem, part of the, one of the symptoms in MBFA, my body is falling apart disease, or if you prefer okay. OI or osteogenesis imperfecta, whatever you want to call it, is the digestive system breaks down. So that okay. means she becomes malnourished, and that exacerbates okay. the problem. You get this vicious circle. You follow me? The digestive right. system is breaking down like everything else is breaking down so you get malabsorption you get malnourishment you get basically starvation that makes the problem worse which makes the digestive system break down further and you get more okay. problems stuff starts leaking into the blood you get toxic reaction and result is a mess so what do you right. do if you go to a doctor they're going to say where do we even begin 
Oh, we'll give you Prozac. At least you'll be you dumbed down. Okay, that's what they'll say. But I'm telling you how you got to handle this. First and foremost, right. get her on probiotics today. Don't even right. wait an hour. Get her on the best right. probiotic supplement you can find. Of course, I like the Ultimate Nightly Essence. And start doing okay. vegetable juices and fermented okay. foods. Okay? okay. You want to, and I'm not going to be able to call you for a few days. But while but while I'm you're waiting to hear from me. Oh, vegetable juices, soups, chicken soup, bone soup. You know okay. about that? Fresh, uh, homemade chicken soup. And right. uh, work. I, I, I listen to your podcast. I, I definitely Perfect. understand. You know where I'm going then. You know where I'm going. I know where you're going with this, but I, but I, uh, I can save this for the phone call. It's just uh, there are numerous issues. I got These you, but you got to start. Oh, say again? They're psychopathic in nature, these doctors. Okay. They're satanic. I actually work in a hospital, okay? <laughs> okay I, it's you, sick. Yeah, I know. You know, that's why I do this program, Aaron, because i got right. to expose this. That's right. why I do this program. Nobody knows this. What you're saying, the people who work in hospitals know this. Nurses know this. Pharmacists right. know this. But the average person doesn't understand. We've deified the medical model to the extent that I sound like I'm a nut. I sound like, you know, when I, I sound like I'm some kind of crazy person when I talk about this. That's how entrenched the model is. The meme is so built in to our culture. But anyway, I, I want to get to some more calls. I want to help your wife right away. So have her minimize her, her calories. No eating unless she absolutely needs to. And uh, uh, okay, now, now I, I apologize for interrupting. I've tried to tell her about the fasting. The problem is she's 55 pounds. I'm no, no, I didn't say fasting. I didn't say fasting. Oh, no, I, I know, but fasting is part of the process, too. Right? We'll do it later. For now, I want to get her going. Give her bone soup, delicious chicken soup, make it with her or for her, and okay. then uh, just load it up with chicken, nice big chunks. Make sure it's all dissolved. Everything's you know, spent 12, 20, 24 hours simmering it, so everything's all dissolved okay. as best as you can. And then uh, uh, if you can get her on the Healthy Star Pack, that would be great. Fermented, okay. fermented foods probiotics, and vegetable juices. Okay. Delicious vegetable juices with lots of salt and lots of spices. Okay. And, uh, mix her favorite veggies. She'll love it. She'll absolutely love it. If you can get her to do some coconut oil, that will help too. And then uh, I'll be getting in touch with you in the next few days, but that's going to get her going. That'll okay. get her started. Okay? Uh, okay. Thank okay. you so much, Aaron. What do you do in the hospital, Thank by you. the way? What do you do in the hospital? Uh, one of the lowest level jobs. Po I, 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 I clean there. But I try to educate people from what I've been learning. I, I talk to a lot of people who really don't care to know knowledge. They don't seem to care about themselves. They don't seem to have any self-awareness. Um, I actually, th there's hand sanitizers there. I try to tell people that's genocide because bacteria <laughs> on the hands is important because it goes to the gut. I understand the importance of the gut bacteria. And Aaron, what they're you're really awesome. doing is trying to kill people. You're, you're awesome, man. I look forward to talking to you, buddy. Thanks so much for your call. Hey, Take care. God you. bless you. God bless you. All right, let's go to David in, uh, in Texas. Or, I'm sorry, uh, Cam in Texas. What's up, Cam? Hey. Hey, Ben, Cam? can you hear me? Yes, sir. What's going on, man? Yeah. Hey, uh, old broken-down athlete. In fact, I played football and rugby down the road. Where did you play football? Uh, Air Force Academy. Oh, wow. When? When did you play? Right. right. Oh, in the in the uh, late '80s. So I'm a little late bit older, '80s. There, so. who's there? There were some players there, I think, weren't there? Some... Yeah, yeah, Chad Hennings. Oh um, yeah, Chad Hennings. Fish of the Bear. Yeah, I played with yeah. Chad. And, uh, oh, nice. He must. I... That must have been fun. Is he still? He... Oh yeah, no. great, great guy. Yeah, we keep in touch, and uh, it was a good times. And I went from football to rugby, so I went. Uh, are you big? Sports, are you a big man? You a large fellow? Yeah, I'm, I'm six two, and I'm I'm uh, hovering around two sixty. So okay. I've had this. Uh, I I actually tore my disc playing rugby my senior year, and it still plagues me to this day. And so oh, I, I know one of my issues is my weight. But uh, you know, well, I've been let's... to chiropractors. I've been to you know PT the whole bit. I'm going. You know, there's there's obviously another approach I need to take. So I want to. Call so what are you about? Your forties? Uh, are you mid forties? I'm forty nine. 49. Okay, so here's the deal. Yes, there is. And, and it's going to get worse unless you start to do something about it, okay? So first of all, most importantly is you've got to eliminate anything that's causing inflammation. That is basically going to be food and sugar. So anything pro-inflammatory you need to avoid. And you may notice that your pain flares up after certain foods or after certain meals. And if you don't notice it, start to notice. Pay attention. After we eat pro-inflammatory foods, especially sugar and starches that break down into sugar, uh, inflammation will spike. Second thing you want to do is start using digestive enzymes on an empty stomach and with food. Take them throughout the day. 
then that'll help the inflammation, that will help uh, have anti-inflammatory effects, help the inflammation, and of course it'll also help you digest your food if you take it with food. Use some apple cider vinegar to activate the enzymes. The next thing you want to do is make sure you're doing lots of glucosamine and uh, hy something called hyaluronic acid, which you may have heard of, as well as uh, silica. And all of these are found in cartilage. Now, you get cartilage in several places. Number one, you're going to get it from bone soup. You should be living on bone soup. Well, not living on it, but you should be doing lots of it. Uh, sure. glu the glucogel caps also will get you glucosamine. You can go get some extra hyaluronic acid in a health food store. You might also want to get some liquid silica gel. Uh, you can get that in a health food store, too. Next thing is essential fatty acids. These are the molecules of inflammation and anti-inflammation. You want to be using them generously. Ultimate EFAs, 9 to 12 a day. Do it with food. If you notice that you have any digestive issues, you burp or you bloat or you feel dis discomfort after you do your EFAs, that's a clue for you. That means that you're not absorbing or processing your fats and fatty vitamins, and that will exacerbate inflammation and slow up repair. Uh, make sure you're taking your fatty vitamins as well. Vitamin E is incredibly anti-inflammatory, 400 IU a day. Uh, alpha lipoic acid is also very inflammatory. I'd be doing 400 milligrams of alpha lipoic acid a day. Vitamin A, 20,000 IU a day. Vitamin C, if you can sip on the BTT all day long, that'd be great. I'd throw in a little bit of extra vitamin C as well. And then last but most certainly not least, you've got to get a good source of protein. The bone soup is a good source of protein, but if you can do whey protein, that would help as well. Um, that's my favorite form of protein. You probably know all about whey as a former athlete. And then uh, last thing I want to tell you is there's a, 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 a body work called rolfing. Are you familiar with rolfing, Cam? I'm not. Okay, no. well, get look into it. If, uh, where in Texas are you? I'm in Austin. Okay, you, there are plenty of rolfers there. Just look up rolfing, R-O-L-F-I-N-G. They break up. It's a very deep, deep, intense massage work where they break up scar tissue. And if you've been, if you had, you know, you got, tw that's, that's a 25-year-old injury, guaranteed there's going to be yeah. scar tissue in there. And that needs to be broken up. And it's not going to feel comfortable when they're breaking it up, but it'll feel awesome when they're done. So look up rolfing, R-O-L-F-I-N-G. And, and there's so many more things you could do, but that's a great place for you to start. That's not comprehensive. There's more, but that's a great place to start. Thanks so much for your call, Cam. Appreciate it. Thank you. And uh, gosh, guys, I'm sorry I left you on hold. I really, really hate doing that. But just, just, you know, that's just how it goes on the bright side. All right. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks so much for listening. Check out my skin health products at truthtreatments.com and check out the longevity products at brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. Love to have you in the Bright Side team. 866-735-2470. Call the phone team. Let them know you want to join the Bright Side Ben team. All right, folks. Have a beautiful, spectacular, wonderful day. We'll talk to you all later, friends. Bye for now.